Is a magnitude 10 earthquake possible? And what is a magnitude 10 earthquake like? Is it a possibility? The most powerful earthquake ever recorded was a 9.5 magnitude, which occurred just off the coast of Chile. This was May 22, 1960. Also, a Yellowstone supervolcano eruption would likely be bigger than a 10 magnitude, says Elliot Smith, Physics Forms, although he says, I've never seen any actual estimates of where it would fit on the scale, just that it would dwarf anything in recorded history. The 1964 earthquake that was 9.2 magnitude, one of my fellow emergency trainers, says Berkman, was in the thick of it. He was a young military police officer of Elmendorf Air Force Base when it happened and has given a number of emergency response presentations about it and it's incredible. Thinking historically about the most powerful earthquake causing events on Earth, Young Drassel found this. He says, models suggest that impacts of the Chicxulub asteroid was a million times more energetic than the lar largest nuclear atomic, atomic bomb ever tested. An impact of this size would eject material at high velocity around the world, causing earthquakes of over 10 magnitude, continental shelf collapse, landslides, gravity flows, mass wasting and tsunamis, and produce a relatively thick and complex sequence of deposits close to Chicxulub. No argument that it likely had an effect greater than 10 earthquake, but it was not an earthquake which is the subject of the spread, one person says. Now what is a 10 magnitude earthquake like? Otherwise known as quakes or tremors, it's estimated that Earth is subject to about 500,000 earthquakes every year. This is according to Science Focus by Louis Villazon, asked by Richard O'Neill at Glasgow. The 2011 Japan earthquake off the coast of Japan, the tidal wave of 120 feet in height, shifted the entire main island of Honshu east by 2.4 meters. More than 127,000 buildings collapsed and almost 16,000 people were victims of that. And this was a magnitude 9.1 earthquake, only releasing about 3% of the energy of a theoretical magnitude 10 earthquake. But there's an upper limit to how much energy you can store in the rocks. Very large earthquakes release more energy, but it's spread over a much longer section of fault line. It's doubtful that there are any fault lines on Earth big enough to release a magnitude 10 earthquake. But if one happened, you could expect the ground to shake just as hard as a magnitude 9, but for a lot longer, perhaps as much as 30 minutes. Okay, that's concerning one fault, but if you take into account that all the tectonic plates are sort of jostling against each other as a set of fault lines all over the world. And if you take into account that we had an undersea volcano off the coast of Africa on 11-11 of last year, it caused a worldwide earthquake. The whole earth rang like a bell on 11-11. Not only that, the world, the earth, here is, feels every large earthquake. These earthquakes that are large enough are picked up by seismometers everywhere around the world. We have historic accounts of earthquakes and volcanic destructions, floods, tsunamis, one of them was, for example, the deluge, the Great Flood. And we also have, for example, the sinking of whole continents and islands, 
sinking and rising and the sinking and rising and the sinking. Atlantis was supposed to have done this. It sunk and then it arose and it sunk again, never to rise again, according to Plato. The same thing happened to the island of Rhodes, but it rose and it stayed afl afloat and is still there today in the island of, uh, it's an island of the Aegean Sea in Greece. Now Plato wrote about Atlantis and uh, he was told by Solon, the lawmaker of Athens, who was informed by a high priest of ancient Egypt that very, uh, very powerful earth changes take place. We have tremendous earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, tsunamis that take place because of planetary alignments and also uh, an interstellar body that comes towards our Earth every few thousand years and wreaks havoc, havoc to the planet. And uh, Solon relayed this to Plato. Plato then wrote various works, one of them being concerning Atlantis. Plato's work, Timaeus and Critias, he talks about Atlantis. This is according to his work in, in the uh, Republic. This is from Wikipedia. I'll leave a link below for you for this. And he talks about the sinking of Atlantis. This was the antediluvian world that is about 9,000 years before his time. I would say about 10 BC, that's 12,000 years ago. And uh, that's just before, uh, that's around the time of the last ice age anyway. So the antediluvian world, we know that that was the area, the time of the uh, great flood. Most people think anyway. While present day philologists and classics agree, the story of Atlantis could be fictional and uh, there's still debate on what serves as its inspiration. It could be fictional, it could be myth, it could, it could be reality. Plato is known to have freely borrowed some of his allegories from older traditions, leading to a number of scholars investigating possible inspirations of Atlantis from the Egyptian records of the Thera eruption of Santorini. The Minoan eruption of Thera, referred to as the Thera eruption of Santorini, or the late Bronze Age, uh, was a major catastrophic vol volcanic eruption with a volcanic explosivity index of six or seven and a de dense rock equivalent. There were no victims found there and uh, a lot of uh, scientists believe that they had so many earthquakes before that that they had warnings to evacuate. So the Sea Peoples the Trojan War, others reject the chain of traditions as implausible. Plato created an entirely fictional nation, they say. But let's say it wasn't fictional. We, after all, have found a tremendous amount of images, underwater construction off the coast of Japan, and um, various other areas, locations, sunken pyramids, off the Azores, off the Canary Islands, even around the Bermuda Triangle area of the Caribbean, something went on. And you can imagine what type of earth changes and catastrophe took place at that time. So I believe that yes, you can have a 10 earthquake. It's just uh, a lot bigger than anything we know up to now. I'll leave links below for you for this. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events. 
events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.